Well, hello everybody, Pain Dan here, and today we're going to be looking at a. Da -da 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 -da. Collets Goods. Yes, a lovely, lovely Collets Goods. Before I get to any detail about this, this was a Christmas present, although Christmas has gone five months ago. This was a Christmas present from my nan and granddad, and I love them to bits, and I do love this like massive to bits. Uh, they got this from the South End show because I saw them buy, um, I saw my granddad buy it, but I thought, uh, oh well. And well, it is a very, very nice locomotive. It is not in the GWR colours, but I should admit that it does look very nice in the GWR colours with the chocolate and cream coaches. So I might actually get a GWR one, but th no, this is not a GWR one. This is a Col Colic Goods 2217 BR Black Early Caress Manor Tender or Manor Tender Weathered. And if anyone can tell me by commenting below, is this supposed to be Early Emblem or is it actually meant to say that? Because I swear I can even see an Early Emblem and Late Caress, not Early Caress. I think I admit, misspelled that, but oh, that dog, this is my fourth attempt on this video. I had that dog barking outside, I don't know why he keeps on barking, but he's so peeing me off right now. I had a van come down here, and as a, uh, as a surprise, a ice cream truck, and the ice cream truck, truck coming down, showing us jingles. So annoying. Um, but yes, they did get this from the South End show, and well, I'm so pleased I've got this because I've been after one of these for ages, and I got it for Christmas. Um, on the back, although it's not so interesting, this is the person that my grandma's bought it from, and if you want to go and look at it, there you are. So now let's open the box. I usually open it from this side because I'm stronger on this arm. I probably told you this millions of times. But some people like it on, like to open it on the other side. There's a box, nice blue box, and here's the postcards. Well, I call it a postcards. Um, actually, why is it? Oh wait, it says two two one seven, but on this it says two two five one. Why is this two two five one? It should be two two one seven. Don't, I really don't know. Um, this is a 060 locomotive, so no wheels at the front, six main driving wheels, and no pony wheels at the back. Um, usually, you get brief history in the back. It still says 2251. Um, if you want a quick read, just go and have a look on the internet about this uh, type of locomotive and just for the other types of locomotives in the postcode um, postcards sorry um, you got the guarantee and the usual part sheet like that one that you can get different parts for these as you can see there you can get DWR green 32 Zero two or BR black two two six zero or BR lined green two two seven seven. But I'm not going to replace this locomotive um, and all the bits and bobs. Not a lot of parts for this locomotive, I should admit. But this is a very small locomotive. Um, let's put all this over there, and here's the locomotive itself. It still it says. Three pounds there. I don't know why they put it there, but yeah, here you get some detail. Not as well. If you look at my whole class review, you must you might have seen that they used to have. Well, in the package, I haven't opened it yet. That it's got some drivers in it. Why hasn't this modern one, modern locomotive? have no drivers in it. It should have a driver. A driver and a fireman actually. I don't know why. But it's got some brake rods and vacuum pipes. Well weird vacuum pipes actually. Um so yeah, that's one side. Here's the box. A nice polystyrene box. 
Um, I don't know. I can't really compare this type of box to the new Stoll box. I think this is quite neat and um, quite more safer for the locomotive. But let's get on to the review. On the back, you've got two holes one for the tender, one for the locomotive. And what you just do is get your middle finger in there and pop the locomotive out like that. Same for the tender, middle finger, and just bring it out like that. There's a box itself, and this lovely foamy stuff, which ain't tissue paper, but it is actually a pretty nice feel on both the locomotives. Um, not both the locomotives, sorry, both the tender and the locomotive. I'm going to stop this part of the video, and we can do a overview of. Both the locomotive. Um, why do I say both the locomotives? The locomotive. Why? Hello, guys. Welcome back. And now we're going to do the overview. So what I'm going to do is start from the front and work my way down the locomotive and the tender. So let's have a quick look at the front first. So if I just zoom in with the camera. As you can see, it has spawn buffers and an EM coupling, as you can see there. This is quite neat because when you go around a bend, it doesn't stay still like the old fashioned big companies used to. And uh, if you've got a real, really tight corner, you the coaches or wagons behind it usually come off the rails and that's pretty annoying so that that's probably why they fitted the NEM coupling so that is pretty neat and this is quite an old locomotive on the smoke box door you've got the number 2217 and you've got I think these are lamp hooks down here I have no idea but I think they are and you've got this fake coupling hook with no Metal couplings, um, not not metal couplings. Like, um, I forgot what they call them, but yeah, the things what what used to hang down. You have a nice funnel up here, as you can see, is chrome underneath, but black on top because this is, this is weathered. You've got a nice handrail going all around the boiler. Um. And you've got, I think, I heard someone say this, this is a safety valve, and actually, is that a safety valve, or are they whistles? <laughs> now I've confused myself, I think this is actually a safety valve, and this is the whistle. Uh, comment below if I'm wrong. If I just bring it round, as you can see, as I told you earlier, this is a 060 locomotive, so no wheels at the front, six wheels in the middle, and no wheels at the back. If I just bring the camera out a bit, and just zoom in, there's a number again, 2217, and if anyone can tell me, comment below. What this, I think that's a B or a C or whatever it is. Comment below if you know. What I'd like to know. And if I just bring it at the front a bit, look at that. There is a, an actual gap in between the boiler and the footplate. And if you look at the much older, well, I don't think, well, um, I think main line, the old-fashioned main line used to do these and I think um, comment below if I'm wrong this is covered up because of the motor but Batman have smartly put the motor where this where this um, big block is I think it's like the smoke um, where the fire is but the motor is facing downwards and the motor spins like that, and there's a few, like, 
two cogs which is spinning and I think it's only these two which run but obviously this is connected to that and that so it's basically all powered in the cab you can see it is not painted and I should admit I was expecting that because this is a, an old model and it's not a special edition or a limited edition one and what could I expect but you can't see it but I can but there is some detail in there where you can just take off the body and maybe I haven't tried on this so much take off all these pipes and all that and paint it yourself and it should look look m 10 times better on the cab roof you can see some rivets along here and that is pretty neat I should admit that is pretty neat right now to the tender and I should admit this tender on this locomotive is very very nice look at that that is beautiful you can get different types of these colors goods you can have one with this tender I think you can get another one with this same tender but not weathered and you can get one with a rod tender which is a much bigger tender and I don't think that looks too good I prefer this type but it's, it's my own opinion your opinion might be different to mine but yeah also no one has ever commented about this and please do is this where our spare water is kept here please comment below because I really want to know but yeah this is where I think spare water is kept just in case the boiler runs out and this is like a reserve tank there's the well I think is the early emblem but it says on the box the early crest so I'm just going the way it's going and as you can see it's weathered but not well you can't really tell a difference can you like if I just bring it out you can't really tell a difference but it is weathered and it is quite good weathering but I might weather it a bit more if I just turn around same again on this side exactly the same as the other side and well what, what shall I say is a lovely locomotive what I should give for this locomotive is 10 out of 10 for weight because it's actually a really nice weight for the size of a locomotive look how small that boiler is, it's so small 10 out of 10, what? actually 9 out of 10 from running, it is a little bit stuttery around some points but for its age and how many wheels it's got I think it should deserve a 9 out of 10 um what else oh yeah I've got to tell you that this locomotive ain't DCC ready you have to get one fitted either on your own or or you let a shop do it but yeah it is not DCC fit and ready so you have to soldier it on and well that's all I can say really so if you find one cheaper for or less than 30 quid go for it because I think you'll be very impressed with it and I think I keep on getting quite a lot of bargains because well this is a bargain and I've got a few more locomotives which are complete bargains so thanks guys if you like this video please leave a like and a comment and if you do like this video so much that you want to follow me please subscribe bye